Residents in the Little Village neighborhood are speaking out after a report shows the massive dust cloud that spread over their area when the old Crawford plant chimney was demolished was the result of, quote, negligence and incompetence by several city officials. And WGN's Dana Revick is here now with the latest developments on this story. Dana? Well, Alderman Michael Rodriguez is now speaking out tonight. He characterized a press conference that was held in front of his office today as politically driven. Community members, some of them calling for him to step down and other city leaders to be investigated federally over the botched Hillco implosion. Rodriguez now defending himself tonight in a new interview. We demand justice and demand that our constituents are put before the profits of these corporations. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez, along with Little Village residents, calling for action after reviewing the Office of the Inspector General's report on the Hillco smokestack implosion at the old Crawford plant in April 2020. Holding a press conference in front of the office of 22nd Ward Alderman Michael Rodriguez. In that report, it clearly shows that our alderman has failed again. And I say again, because they have failed us in many occasions on protecting our air and our environment. The report by former Inspector General Joe Ferguson showed city officials knew the potential consequences in advance of what he called a botched implosion and didn't do enough to prevent them. Ferguson citing environmental negligence and incompetence and a multi-agency breakdown of city regulatory oversight. The report stated top officials in the city's Department of Buildings and Public Health should have known the subcontractors Hillco hired had outlined inferior dust mitigation measures. These community members say Alderman Rodriguez also knew about the risks nearly two months ahead of time. We are asking him to resign immediately based on the findings of the inspector general. He did utterly nothing, nothing to inform the community about the implosion. So my children, my wife, and I live five blocks from where this tragedy occurred. You know, no one is more concerned about the health and well-being of my community. And I've done everything in my power to bring about transparency on this issue. We passed the resolution unanimously in city council demanding the release of this IG report. The next step is we're going to be moving to take that discretion of when an IG report gets released from the mayor's office and put it in with the IG. And a spokesperson for Mayor Lightfoot said on this today, quote, as the mayor and others stated at the time of the incident, the implosion at the former Crawford generating power plant was an unacceptable event. Contractor negligence and failures led to the dust cloud that created fear and trauma in Little Village. This administration took swift public action to hold those responsible accountable. Since that time, the city has significantly enhanced efforts to protect communities from environmental harm. Now, Hillco had to pay $68,000 in city fines as well as $370,000 in a settlement with the Illinois Attorney General's office. And former Inspector General Joe Ferguson has not commented publicly since this full report was released last week. All right, Dana. Thanks for the update.